Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Douse, and in today's lesson I'm going to discuss the basics of parallel and perpendicular lines. Uh, I'm going to go over uh, the definitions of parallel and perpendicular lines, uh, the symbols that we can use to represent parallel and perpendicular lines, and I'm going to do a couple problems to help reinforce the concept behind parallel and perpendicular lines. Uh, why do you need to know parallel and perpendicular lines, uh, first of all? Uh, in geometry, I'm a geometry teacher, we talk about parallel and perpendicular lines uh, the second week of school, and we discuss them at, from time to time throughout the year until the end of the year. And so they're very important concepts uh, to know in geometry. Uh, it'll make your life a lot easier if you understand the concepts behind parallel and perpendicular lines. So let's just jump right into this lesson here. Uh, uh, parallel lines are lines with the same slope. Uh, these two lines are parallel to each other uh, because they uh, have the same slope. And having the same slope means that they're never going to touch. So they will never touch. They will never cross paths. Uh, very important about parallel lines. When I think of parallel lines in the real world, I think of railroad tracks. I think of uh, the boards on fences that go straight up and down or left and right, depending on what kind of fence you have. Uh, so parallel lines are lines with the same slope. That means they're never going to touch. If you want to see a, a video that talks more about the, the slope of parallel lines, uh, I have a separate video that talks about the slope of parallel lines and the slope of perpendicular lines that are very useful. Uh, so I recommend looking at that video after you watch this video right here. Uh, let's move on here, though. Intersecting lines are lines that cross or lines that intersect. A lot of people think the definition for intersecting lines is the definition of perpendicular lines. When I ask my students uh, what are perpendicular lines, they always say lines that cross. And there's some partial truth in that, but that's not an actual true statement. Uh, perpendicular lines are two intersecting lines that cross at 90 degrees or at a right angle. So uh, perpendicular lines are a specific kind of intersecting line. Uh, again, these two lines are, are perpendicular to each other, not because they intersect, but because they intersect at a 90 degree angle. So very important. Uh, if I just have two lines that cross, uh, that doesn't mean that they're perpendicular. Uh, this is just intersecting lines. Uh, to indicate lines are perpendicular, you need to know there's 90 degree angles uh, between those two lines. Uh, so be careful with that. Uh, there is a symbol to represent parallel lines, so you don't have to write the whole, world, uh, the whole word uh, parallel. You can use the symbol of two lines that are vertical, straight up and down. Those are a little crooked. Uh, they generally are straight up and down. Uh, this symbol uh, means parallel. Uh, so if you look at the word parallel, there are two uh, vertical lines, the L's. That's basically the symbol uh, to represent parallel. Uh, and then there's a symbol for perpendicular lines as well. If you took a capital T and flip it upside down, that gets you the symbol for perpendicular lines. And a way to remember uh, that this symbol uh, means perpendicular. If you look at the vertical line here and the horizontal line, they are at a 90 degree angle. And so that's one way to help you understand what the symbol is for perpendicular lines. And you're going to see some problems here on the next page where I use these symbols instead of the words parallel and perpendicular. So let's jump into those. Uh, so let's see here. I have uh, a figure here where I have two lines crossing uh, horizontally, one going diagonally and one going up and down. Uh, and it says, are the following statements about the figure above true or false? Uh, let's study this figure first before I jump into these problems. Uh, I have a couple things happening here that I need you to know. Um, I have an arrow here and an arrow here. If you have two lines that look like they're parallel to each other, and they have an arrow uh, somewhere in the middle of the line, that means that these two lines are parallel to each other. And I have other videos where I use these symbols. Uh, very important to understand, if you have arrows in a line, or in two lines, or two or more lines, that means that those lines are parallel to each other, meaning that they have the same slope, meaning that they're never, ever going to touch. I have another thing happening here, where if I look, this line and this line are crossing at a 90 degree angle. So that's something that we're going to need to know here in a little while. Uh, so let's, let's jump into these problems and, and finish this lesson up. So are the following statements about the figure above true or false? Well, I have line RS is something to line QT. Remember what this symbol means? That symbol means parallel. 
So you really need to know what that symbol is. So let's see here. Is line RS, we have line RS, uh, parallel to line QT? Well, I just talked about this. This line and this line each have one arrow. And that means that these two lines are, in fact, parallel to each other. So that is actually a true statement. Um, let's look at the next one here. Uh, line AB is something to line RS. Well, this something here, that symbol, remember, it means perpendicular. Perpendicular, sorry. Uh, so perpendicular. So that means two lines cross at 90 degrees. So let's see if we see these two lines crossing at a 90 degree angle. Um, so let's see here. Line AB, this is the, this guy right here, uh, is perpendicular to line RS. Yes, they are crossing at a 90 degree angle. So these two lines must be perpendicular to each other. So this is also a true statement. I'm going to clean this board up here so it doesn't get too messy. Let's jump to problem number three. Uh, it says right here, uh, line RS is parallel to line CD. So line RS, is it parallel to line CD? Well, they're crossing paths right here, and you can't have two lines that are parallel to each other crossing paths, so this must be a false statement. Uh, let's look at the next one here. Uh, line CD is perpendicular to line RS. Is line CD perpendicular to line RS? Well, they're intersecting here, but are they intersecting at a 90 degree angle? They definitely are not. I don't see a 90 degree angle marker here. I don't see 90 degrees anywhere. This is also a false statement. So keep in mind, perpendicular lines are lines that cross at 90 degrees. Uh, let's see here. Is line CD parallel to line QT? So line CD, is it parallel to line QT? Well, again, these lines are crossing paths. So you can have two lines parallel to each other that cross paths uh, or intersect. So this is also false. Uh, and then number six, this is the hands down the hardest problem on, on this page here. Uh, it says AB is perpendicular to QT. So is line AB perpendicular to line QT? If I look right here, I don't have anything to indicate that they're 90 degrees. They look like they're 90 degrees, but you can't just have lines that look like they're 90 degrees and call them parallel. You need to have an indicator like I have right here, or it needs to say 90 degrees for them to be parallel, uh, perpendicular. So are these two lines perpendicular? Well, my gut instinct here is no. But there's something happening here that we haven't talked about. If I look right here, this line's parallel to this line, meaning this line is intersecting uh, this line right here at 90 degrees. So if these lines are parallel, they're going to intersect the same line uh, in the same way. Meaning if this is 90 degrees here, this has to be 90 degrees as well. These are called corresponding angles. I have another video talking about angle measures and, uh, and, and per parallel lines. Uh, these are corresponding angles. If this line and this line are parallel to each other, they're going to intersect any line that they come across at the, same, at, at the same way, meaning if this is 90 degrees, this is also 90 degrees. So now knowing this line and this line are, separ are intersecting at a 90 degree angle, this is actually a true statement. So anyways, um, my teacher, or sorry, your teacher might not be so mean. Um, I might not be so mean, but this is a concept that's introducing something else later on in the year. So anyways, hopefully uh, this video here helps you understand the concept uh, behind the basics of parallel lines and perpendicular lines. And I hope you have a super good day. All right, bye-bye.